circled the globe in the mer minutes and devoured it to the bone. Without sparing neither the innocent nor the guilty, without naming a victor to the bloody war, a nuclear blaze destroyed everything in its path, including the reasons for the conflict that sent the remnants of humanity back into the Dark Ages. Back into the primeval state, with no government, no technology, no culture, and no morals. 2005. Nineteen years have passed from the day of the Great Purge. Both once glorious empires and their loyalists now lie in ruins. However, amidst the ruins, new civilizations start to rise up to the unforgiving sun. From the rusted, radioactive derelict of the old world, new ersatz states, both brave and wild, emerge to join the never-ending battle for the right to exist on the planet, mutilated beyond recognition by the flames of apocalypse. Hello and welcome everybody back to the dumbass class with me, the Dyslexic Gamer, as we go forth with a new playthrough of Atom. Now, Atom is, uh, it is so much like the Fallout 1 and Fallout 2, but improved graphics and it, it's a really, really good game. Um, it has a slight issue. A slight issue that it was made by some glorious Russian people whose RPG um, storytelling is quite good but their English is quite quite bad um, there are a lot of spelling mistakes um, so I'm gonna give this game a shot you are gonna have to put up with me doing um, a lot of reading in this game this game has an absurd amount of reading and it will be a challenge for me um, but when I thought about a game to bring to the channel this one struck me as one of those ones that I should probably do um, because it's a challenge and what's the point in doing this if I'm not going to challenge myself so there are going to be many many times when we'll have to skip certain things but let's take our voyage into the world of Atom with a new game now, I'm going to create my character. We're going to go through character creation. It's quite short. Um, there's not that much to character creation. Um, but it is a lot like uh, a lot like Fallout um, in that regard. Now, I'm just going to pick a port. Here we go. Right, so we're going to change Victor's name. Uh, he's going to be Lobot. He's going to be... Lobot. Now Lobot is fairly strength. He's more dexterous uh, and intelligent. But he is fairly strong. Or he's fit. And he is resourceful uh, for his intelligence. Uh, we had five points, which is the fallout standard. Um you can also pick these uh, distractions. They're basically like the um, uh, messy killer and uh, gifted, only worse. This is the one thing that I wish they had 
because they have recently gone through an update and changed some things and done some bug fixes and apparently fixed some of their spelling but I, I struggle to find where um and I'm dyslexic and I'm saying you oh, not so great but we have like black belt here uh you were a martial arts enthusiast from early childhood but you never really liked shooting so you get plus one endurance uh martial arts skill um melee weapons and extra to your dodge which is great it does reduce all your firearms to nothing now this is actually a good one <laughs> surprisingly enough if you play your character as a melee class and you go for the um uh morphine doctor uh your an uh your drug addiction addicted intelli intelligence you're a drug addicted intellectual that's the i this this is where we're going to have some problems with this series but hopefully you'll bear with me and it will be funny at certain times um so you get plus one uh intelligence plus 10 to f uh first aid but a plus 50 to your um your addiction chance now this does work on every type of drug including stims that heal yourself so it's a it's a risky one but these two combined actually give you positives on the board but except from your shooting up but it's very tempting to go with this actually to be quite honest but we're not we're going to get rid of black belt and we're not going to take a a second one because they're all trash um, they really are uh you get minus two to personality for cannibal uh, you don't eat people but you look like you eat people and that's bad enough but you can harvest meat from humans uh sex appeal it, it's exactly like it sounds um uh child prodigy this is worse because it's minus 50 percent xp um i my first one did have this but for plus one, well, for plus three to your attributes, the minus 50%, it is bad. It's really bad. Um, so I'm not going to go through all of them, but let's just, it, it's quite fair to say that this needs rebalancing. It's the one, these should be cool things that don't give you loads of negatives, but just give you flavor and, you know, the cursed sniper. Minus seven to your to your uh, it, it's this attribute attribute here. Hang on, where is it? This one. The order in which you take turns. So you go last, which in this game is terrible. It, it truly is. So yeah, we're gonna go with this. Uh, it gets us a nice. Wait. Is that right? I think that's wrong. So, hmm. Ah, oh, this is. Do we go for more initiative points, more action points, slightly less intelligence? I'm. I know it helps with our carrying capacity, but I, I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep it as we're gonna. Be, we're gonna be smart, or we're gonna be dexterous. Um. And we're going to hope that works for us. Now, for our weapon choices, we're going to go with pistols. I'm going to take that up 50. We want to put our speech up. Our barter up a little. Um, that should be fine. Stealth should be fine. Uh, put that up to there. And then I want to have our thinking and tinkering at one point go up. You do want to specialise. Don't chuck your points all over the show. I'm tempted to put some in throwing. Because I learned something about the test game that I did. No, I'm going to be fine. But that will do. So this is Lobot. Uh, his surname is Mentorus. He was a... Now this is the other parts you can pick. Um... Obviously difficulty, I'm going to be a pussy and keep it on, on normal because the game's difficult enough. It really, really is. Um, we're going to start off with our army clothes and let the game begin.
game begin? Oh no. Also, I don't know if you can even see my mouse. Oh no, you can, you can. You have a... Hmm. You have a... Something dream. Um, red stars glow in the sky and a giant mushroom rises to the heavens. As horned shadows dance at the edge of an ancient forest, suddenly darkness falls. The image are eclipsed within a black void as it crowds you. As it billows closer and closer like an impenetrable smoke. As it rubs against your body like a cat, is smooth, farming before devouring. Atom, a branch of the Soviet army created long before the war caused by the imperialist conquerors. Our mission does not end in gathering pre-war technology and reviving our Soviet motherland. We also strive to reach the pre-war quality of life for all. To realize those goals, we often send search expeditions into the wasteland. Not long ago, one of such expeditions, led by General Morozov, lost all contact with the base. Our human resources are limited. Therefore, the standard procedure is to send out but a few agents to investigate this problem. You are one of the chosen for this mission. General Morozov's troops had an important quest to locate, control, and study a secret bunker. Bunker 317. According to our data, it is located near the village of Otradnoya. To successfully complete your mission, we recommend you to contact our agent in the city of Krasnos Nemunye, codename Fidel. He's hiding in plain sight as a barkeep in the outskirts of the city, so apart from physical aid, he can offer you informational support as well. You will learn the password needed to contact our agent from the envelope. Destroy it upon reading. And remember, your mission is to gather intelligence on the disappearance of Morozov and his troops. No heroics. The wastes are a dangerous place. Good luck, cadet, and let there be atom. The sky is so clear in these parts, I could lay and look at it for an age. For ages. Wait a sound? What's that rustling sound? Wait a second, sorry. What's that rustling sound? Oh! A well-built man in his thirties emerges from the uneven shadows dancing around your campfire. He's dressed in musty khaki uniform. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Hope I'm not bothering you, comrade. The man stops before you and rubs his forehead, uh, rubs his hand, as if to warm himself or to show off the formidable set of brass knuckles on his left hand. You look like a tourist, man. Nice tent clean clothes without holes or tears, and so much other stuff. The man whistles at all your equipment. It must be difficult carrying such a load of stuff around. The man's face breaks into an ominous smile. You know me and my pals could help you. Well, not for free, of course, but for a very reasonable price. What say you? 
you finally notice four other figures standing at the edge of the firelight. If you still had any doubts about what's transpiring, now is painfully clear. You're about to get robbed. You chose the wrong victim, mate. I've trained a... I've trained to deal with hostile locals. Listen, I agree sharing is caring, but all I have is the bare minimums for survival. Act like decent human beings and let me be. Hmm. Easy man, maybe you miss it in the dark, but I'm not soft. But I'm not the sort to be stopped by brass knuckles. The leader chuckles to himself while his companions openly laugh, uh, burst out laughing. He's got some tremendous moxie for his size. I like it. Listen, why don't you lie down and rest for a little bit? Maybe then you can beat the ever-loving crap out of us in your dream. What? I... I'd hoped I could have put up a bit of a fight. Oh my head, those assholes robbed me blind. Maybe they left something. Well, welcome to the world of Atom. Well, they left your tent, which I would be taking. So we can zoom in. Uh, this is about the best angle you can get on your character. You can kind of see his dumpy face. But we will be playing most of the game like this because it is... We get to see more, although I do like... There we go. So, if we hold down Alt, we can uh, see anything that's uh, lit up green is something that we can pick up. Like this bottle down here. You may not have really seen. Um, if we hold down left click, we get it right. Um, you can open up a little list of things that you can do, actions and so forth, um, which involves using information, or you can just click and grab stuff. Now, yes, we are we are doing the uh, the typical fantasy thing to do, which is grab everything in your immediate surroundings. Doesn't matter if it's useless, just go ahead and grab it. Um, it all has a use. Trust me, I assure you. There is a use to all of this, this lovely, lovely, lovely junk. We're going to grab all of it. And we're going to run our happy little butts over here. Because that's pretty much everything in this area. Sadly, yeah, there's no secrets. There's no hidden thingy majubas or anything like that. It's just some logs. So, let's move on. And here we are. Or, there we are. In our first little town. Oh, it is basically a town. It's it's your typical Fallout-esque uh, post-apocalyptic town. As you imagine. Although, to be honest with you, not nearly enough, uh, enough guards for my liking. Anyway, never mind. Before you stands a strongly built man, aged around 30, he is wearing a weathered military jacket and holds a large gun in his hands. On further inspection, he seems like an affable guy, 
that would probably welcome a conversation with a random stranger. He absently chews a blade of grass upon seeing you. Seeing you. Oh, he livens up. I don't really. I'm not doing a Russian accent because I can only do one. Not very good. And I'm going to do it later on. So they're not all getting Russian accents, but some will. Some will. Hey there, comrade. Obviously, not this one. Ah, uh, hello to you. The man coughs and spits out the blade of grass, then removes his hand from his rifle, letting it hang there by its makeshift leather belt. Nice to meet you. My name's Yen. May I ask what brings you to our village? I'm looking for someone. Someone who lives here? Not really. Oh, okay. Um, so, okay then. Uh, so how may I help you out? Well, I wanted to ask you... Shush, shush, doggo. Me and the human are talking. Um, well, I wanted to ask you a few questions. Uh, fine, I'll try to answer. Was there a troop of military types in your village lately? Funny you should uh, funny you should ask. A squad of troops came through the village not long ago. Can't say if they were military though, but they had some serious looking dude, good weapons on them, and their attitude was pretty well military. Militant? Mm, yeah, militant. Um they were even wearing uniforms of a sort. Uh, some serious guys, I tell you. Real... Sires? Yeah. They brought some water, <clears throat> rested for a day near the walls and moved on. I got to chatting to the youngest guy uh, among them. He said they were on an expedition into the ruins probably looking for some pre-war tech or what remains of it god help them they seemed normal enough can you point me in the direction of these ruins uh yen takes your map and looks and after looking at it for a while draws a small black cross on one spot after looking at the map again, he returns it to you. Here it is. Not too far away. Uh, thanks. Can I ask you uh, another question? Uh, fine. Um, do you have any work available around here? Some work can always be found. For one, for one our tech guy disappeared somewhere. Dubluv? Dubluv? Dubluv. Dubluv uh, is his surname. He... Just dingo doggo. Uh, he loves a drink from time to time. Sometimes even gets so... Gets on a bender. Uh, but it's not like him to go... To be gone for so long. The last time we saw him... He was pretty drunk, bragging about becoming a millionaire real soon, and now he's gone. Maybe he earned a million and ran off. Maybe so, but where would he get a million rupees? Something shady's about the whole situation. Something seems shady about the whole situation. Jens shrugs his shoulders and vigilantly stares into the distance before turning back to you. We are also hungry. Um, maybe... Oh, hang on. Uh, anyway, a real handyman would be most welcome uh, here nowadays. Maybe you could point me uh, to some other work. Well, you might try asking at the tavern. There's a brother and sister in charge. Vessi, Vessia, and 
Bessia and Katia. Yeah, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Sorry. Um, also, some of the villagers might be looking for manual labour. I don't know how, though. You don't know who, though. Oh, I see. I have another question. Um, you know what? Yeah, you're very, very friendly. Tell me about your village. Oh, please. Um, where can I buy weapons? That seems to be a... Just the village... Where can I buy guns and weapons from? Well, the village gun dealer would be the one. Okay. So, just the village gun dealer. Uh, the trader... Okay. The trader Yashin? Yoshin? Yoshin? Yeah, we'll go with Yoshin. Um, if you... If you want to know... My opinion... He's a nice guy, but he asks a lot of questions. But he asks a lot for his wares. A real goddamn capitalist. <laughs> On the other hand, he pays some hefty tax. He pays some hefty taxes. Yeah, okay. He pays hefty taxes and helps a guard around town with their weapons. You should visit him, uh, even if you don't need a gun. He only moved here recently. Being a city person, he would love to chat with a traveller such as yourself. His shop is outside... His shop is just outside the gate. To the left. Okay, I know where his shop is. It's there. Just outside the gate. No. It's just inside the gate to the left. Outside would be... Never mind. Never mind. We'll just... We'll move on. Yen, you don't have multiple gates. You know, if you had an inner gate and an outer gate, I'd let you off. But you don't. So... It's completely possible. Um, now, maybe maybe we should just leave Yen to carry on his duties. Oh, hang on. Wait. Uh, feel free to come back here whenever. Um, it can get pretty boring just standing here. Uh, if I have time, I'll visit you again. Bye. Well. My voice is already starting to go, because I didn't warm it up. Like a proper... YouTuber? Hmm. But we'll see. We will see. I can probably go a little bit longer, because I haven't even got a drink here. Like a real ple plebeian. Um, right. Let us go around and loot the town, because... Like all good uh, fantasy RPGs, but all good RPGs, uh, looting should happen. Um, I'm wondering if I quickly... No, no. For, to, to save on... My biggest gripe with the game is it's very Fallout in its weight mechanic. So when you're overweight, you move very slowly. I like loot. I'm a, I'm a bit of a loot whore in, in that, I, you know, I like the shiny shiny and I like to carry it around with me. We're going to grab all of this corn. I'll explain why. Time saving. Um, so yes, there will be times when I'll either have to cut things out because of movement speeds or, you know, there'll, there'll be stuff to do. Um, I also can't guarantee how long this series will go on for. It might just be a little, a little snippet, a little show of uh, of Atom, to see if you all enjoy, or if you would enjoy if you picked it up for yourselves. Now there's the generator that he was on about us fixing, but we're not going to do that yet because we are, of course, a dirty, dirty capitalist. Ah, oh, they don't know. Ah, oh, they don't know. They may soon find out. So. An old man in a skull cap does what he always does. He opens and closes his toothless mouth, whistling some forgotten melody. Upon seeing you, he squints his eyes at you.
You can kind of just hear him. Hello there, Sonny. You want to speak about something? Just getting to know the locals. Ha! Ah. Oh. The locals. Well, I'm a... Well, here I am. A local through and through. <laughs> did they send you to help me out, Sonny? Not really. Um, What did you want? Ah, uh, shame to ask, Sonny. Uh, I have this little corn patch uh, out back of my house. Out... Yeah, little corn patch at the back of my house. Um, I'd pick the corn myself, but I'm just um too old now. My back is killing me. Uh, what? What harvest could I pick like that? The old man gives out a sad sigh. It must be very hard for him to ask someone for help. You're not going to believe this. Believe it, old man. But I already picked your corn. Ah, oh, a real worker. You really helped an old man out. The old guy feels his pockets, looks his house over, and finally turns to you with despair in his eyes. It, uh... It's uh, it's just that I don't have any money to pay you. What a shame. I was a hunter back before, you know, and always had money. Had the monies. But now, what a shame. Shame on you, old man. Acting like a true... If that is English, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, a true exploitist. I think that's what it's meant to be. Exploiter, exploitist. Yeah. No problem. I, I, I. Uh, no problem. Really, I was glad to help out. The old man doesn't listen to you. Finally, a smile comes to his face, and he slaps his forehead. What an old fool I am, Sonny. I was a hunter, wasn't I? Said said it myself and didn't get it wait here sonny the old man gets on his knees oh dear what kind of hunter were you um sorry he gets on his knees and starts searching under his rickety bed finally he pulls out an old shotgun we we have problems here and we will to them in a minute. A shotgun. With a smile, he hands it to you. Here. I don't really need it no more. Just to scare away the cows. I suppose... Mm, I suppose... But you know... Uh, but you might find it useful. So here you go. Wow, thanks a lot. Just what I needed. You take the gun out of the old man's hands and he and look it over with interest. With interest? Yeah. It's an old uh, hunting carbine. On its wooden stock it has an engraved heart pierced by an arrow. You have anything, old man? You have a medal? I don't care. Now, a shotgun fires a uh, a cased round well no it fires a cased charge with either a solid sh a solid slug or we've already been here or it fires um a cased charge with multiple pellet like um projectiles this is neither it's an old hunting rifle this rifle saw a lot of repairs in its life. You can't make out the manufacture, but at least it's uh, serviceable. It's a rifle and shotgun skill tree, but it fires 7.62s. Really not a shotgun. It fires... But anyway. Ooh, is, is that just on the ground? 
Oh, glorious. I'll take that. So, here is our inventory. It, it's quite crap. No, we don't really have anything. Um, we can arrange things however we like. Um, water, if we have any. See here. Uh, it does minus 75 toxin. And toxin is here. We are very hungry. Um, and it's a effect is for one minute. Uh, we do need to keep that in mind later on. Here is our crafting. Uh, we can experiment. I don't recommend experimenting, but sometimes if you use cheat sheets, it works. We could make a crossbow, a zip gun, a pipe rifle. Eh? I mean, it's a kosh, kind of. It's basically... So I'm not recommending anyone ever do this, but if you ever, if you're a smoker and you have a lighter called a clipper, they work particularly well when you put them in your hand upside down and make a fist. Um, I think that's what that is, but I'm not 100%. You can make a uh, custom grenade, you can make some rounds, um, some short rounds, which basically zip gum, ammo, good ammo, cheap ammo, eh? or normal ammo, poor ammo. A bolt for your crossbow, a DIY respirator, a bag, which we will be doing at one point, broken bottles, and a shiv. Now, don't make any of these until you save the game. Um, save scum. Save scum like crazy. It, it's the only way. It really is the only way. Um, if you don't, you're going to run out of materials really quickly. And I won't lie when I save scum. I'm going to be doing it a lot. Uh, it's just what I'm going to do is save the game and then save scum a lot and then bring you all back so you don't you know, have to sit here with me. But now that we've gone round and we've uh, we've spoken to them, to them, to the old man and the guard, I suppose, we're going to come over to this lovely looking individual who appears to have a chef's hat on but is in a building, again, Russian, no fucking idea, but we would guess from, from that that it's medical tent. Medicus, Medicaid, first aid. You see a slightly bent, thin, but otherwise well-built middle-aged man. He's dressed in a dusty lab coat with, a, with sleeves rolled up and a cloth hat of a particular shade of grey cloth hat of a particular shade of grey yes uh, you must be the local doctor bullseye young man doctor Mikey um, at your service but you may call me simply cons consistent Constantine? Constantine. Constantine? I think it is Constantine. Okay. Uh, I need a doctor. No, I don't. I'd like to buy some drugs. Well, yes, I would. Uh, listen, how about a small discount on all the drugs I'm buying? Uh, I want to ask you some questions. Nice to meet you. Well, I've done a lot of talking this episode. So I'm not actually going to do... We're just going to... I want to buy some drugs. For now, Doc. Just... just easy boy we're gonna sell off some of our crap because the doctor gives you the best price in town um, for all your shit and you don't want to sell off all of it you do actually need some of it only sell off the stuff that I'm like selling and if you're going for a melee build don't get rid of all the spoons and the bricks shivs are really really good but for us at the moment some of these things are just wasted we don't we don't need them on us um i think that'll do also 140 for the best price i think that'll do i also haven't picked up all the loot around uh so don't press trade you lose everything go over to here and grab your grab your ruples mm. trade okay so what I am going to do is, I am going to end the episode off here. I'm going to go and get myself a drink, 
and let my voice rest for a moment before we bring up the next episode uh, where we will do some more uh, talking there's a lot of talking in this game which is why this is such a is going to be such a uh, a big thing for me and hopefully you'll all enjoy it but we'll see depends on how long the series goes on for um so yes in the next episode we go into the bar and we speak to the brother and sister owner of i mean it's the post-apocalypse all the buildings are kind of ramshambled but you know if this is the only bar in town could you not have got some better anyway i hope you've all enjoyed this first look at uh, at atom i hope you've enjoyed and are looking forward to the next episode so take care everyone and as always bye bye for now Thank mm -hmm. you.